Hello, I'm glad to see you once again. If it's your first time, you're welcome on my channel. It's that time of the year where we're going to see what I fit in my travel camera bag. We're gonna talk about every single item you see here and how it fits in this amazing rucksack. I just came back from the Philippines yesterday. I wanted to make this video actually from a sunny and warm beach, but unfortunately, plans changed. So here I am in my kitchen in a rainy and cold London. Let's get started. I'm gonna start by saying that every item I will go through in this video, it has been reviewed already on my channel or it will be very soon. So hit subscribe and stay tuned right here. Forget the settings, but today I'm very chilled and I just wanted to stay here in my living room next to my sofa and He-Man, my favorite hero. By the way, we're gonna start from the actual bag, which is a customized bag because it's actually made of two different bags. One is a camera bag and one is a hiking rucksack. So the main bag is a that kind sequence, 33 liters. This is where I actually put all the gear. It's made of different compartments, removable and adjustable, and also it's all padded. And then I slide the that kind camera bag inside my hiking rucksack, which is a low Alpine Air Zone Trek Plus. This is a 35 to 45 liters bag. And I do so because this bag has much more support from the hips and the back compared to the original sequence 33 liters by that kind. It's full of pockets as well in the front, on the sides. It has an adjustable back support here, which is actually detached from the back of the bag. So uh, your back can breathe a bit better as well. And you've got the hips support. All customized with a logo from With You, which is my clothing brand. Go and check it out. At the bottom here, it also comes with the rain cover which is great in case of wet weather out there. On top of the rain cover of the bag, I actually carry in the rucksack a poncho for myself, but also for the gear, because sometimes the covers that come with the bags are not very waterproof. So after a while, the rain and the water gets inside the bag. So with the poncho, I make sure everything is safely protected and I keep it right here at the bottom pocket of my bag. So as we go, we're gonna build the bag together as well. In terms of the main camera, I'm using a Sony FX3, which I'm not able to show you right here in my hands because I'm using it right now to film this video, but it's a great camera and it's a good hybrid camera anyway. So my priority when I travel are videos, but also I can take photos at 12 megapixel with the FX3, which is still a good resolution for my social media content. I take with me two CFast memory cards, four batteries, the Sony FZ100, and of course, all the chargers go in a different bag, which is actually the check-in bag uh, when I travel on a plane. For the batteries, because I want to have them at end, whenever one of the batteries runs out of power, of juice, I place them here in one of the side pockets of the rucksack, which goes straight over my hip, so easy to reach. Let's pretend I place my Sony FX3 in this compartment right here at the top of the bag. In terms of glasses, Right, I carried with me the 16 to 35 G Master Mark II f2.8. Great lens for, of course, blogging and landscape. I place it here, basically under my Sony FX3 camera. The second lens I brought with me is the still a Sony 24 to 240 millimeters that goes from f3.5 to f6.3. It's a great 
kind of full range lens to be honest so I could potentially travel with one lens but I'm missing a bit of a wider focal length and that's why I'm carrying the 16-35 to great for wildlife but also for some portrait and I can actually vlog with it as well because it's at 24 millimeters it's quite dark sometimes but uh, with the Sony FX3 it's not a big problem especially in filming videos this lens goes here in the lower compartment under the 16 to 35 as we're talking about glasses I also have a pouch full of filters and the filters and UV filters but also step up rings for the 16 to 35 millimeters lens I'm using a Hoya variable ND filter so with one filter I can manage the light as I want on the 16 to 35 millimeters lens and I only use an ND8 for the 24 to 240 millimeters lens by Sony but if I want to use the variable ND filter on the 24 to 240 then I have a step up ring so I just place it on top of the lens but I'm also carrying an ND1000 which is an 82 millimeters of diameter so I can use it on all the lenses in case I want to do some long exposure photography in daytime in the same pouch I also have some ND filters for the drone we're gonna talk about it right now so that goes in here I've got four different ND filters and one UV filter so this pouch goes right here on the side compartment we talked about the drone and there it is this is the DJI Mini 3 Pro under 250 grams so I can carry it with me and fly it anywhere as I did in the Philippines it comes with the controller and the display already in the controller and an extra battery and here actually guys two batteries I don't think are enough for me so I'm going to update and buy a third battery great drone as I said very portable light it, it films at 60 frames per second in 4k that's what I'm filming at the quality is great you take photos as well and you enhance the quality of your videos by adding some drone shots for sure by pressing one button you can also film in vertical mode which is something I'm not doing and you know it but it's there the drone goes on the other side compartment right here with the controller and the spare battery of course we can't travel without an action camera can we so we have a GoPro Hero 10 I only carry with me actually a couple of mounts this one I think used to be a head mount which I customized and I'm actually using as a mouth mount so I just bite it whenever I do something in POV some activities like kayaking or snorkeling I just place it here in my mouth and use the super view and just create some cool immersive videos right there I have four different filters plus a UV filter these are from Freewell again reviewed on the channel go check it out I also have three spare batteries GoPro batteries which are very very rubbish and then I have some extra spare arms in case I want to extend you know my uh, reach for the GoPro but I want to show you this thing here which is actually a quick release plate by Ulanzi to which I have attached the GoPro arms okay and I want to show you how I use this thing because it's very very handy on my rucksack I've got another item by Ulanzi which is this claw clip mount and that's very helpful it's literally here on my shoulder as it's a quick release I just snap it inside the plate and now I can place my GoPro here and film in POV so whenever you see my POV street photography videos that's how I film I just place this mount here GoPro on top and I move around and I made a video also about the importance to me of the quick release plates and once again it's here on the channel
So this stays here in place already on my bag. So it's ready to go in case I want to switch to POV. But in terms of GoPro, we put the filters with the other filters right there. And the three batteries with the Sony batteries on the side pocket. So all the batteries are here together. And when actually a battery runs out from any camera, I put that battery on the other pocket so I don't confuse the two. But for the GoPro also, I have another Ulanzi item, which is the cage, a plastic cage, which I bought actually for blogging, especially because it has a microphone adapter cage as well. I can just light here my adapter, which is a pain, usually it's hanging, but with this tool, it just stays into place. It also has two cold shoes on the top if you want to place a microphone or a light. That goes here next to the filters. The GoPro itself, I actually keep it at hand again because sometimes I hire a scooter when I'm traveling and I want to make sure I grab whatever I see on the go, like immediately. So I keep the GoPro as close as I can here at the top pocket of my bag for quick access. Microphone, I have a Rode Video Micro with a windshield right there in case of windy days, of course. I can use it for the GoPro, but also for the Sony FX3. And I place it usually here on top of the 24 to 240 lens. As I also travel solo most of the times, I want to have a tripod to maybe take some photos of myself or long exposure photography. So I carry this Joby Gorilla Pod, which is strong enough for the FX3. He has a quick release plate. I can use it anywhere, hang it, grab it around the tree, whatever. So it's very useful. And I place it on my side pocket there. I have a cleaning kit which includes a blower, a brush to clean the lenses and the camera and a wipe. Very important because especially in the Philippines it was very humid and the lenses were getting steamy in the morning as well and you know you deal with sand, salt, all the kind of elements so you want to have a cleaning kit with you and I keep it on the second side pocket on my hips. I also carry some earphones with me just to monitor the audio or if I want to listen to something on my phone and I'll keep it with the cleaning kit on the side pocket. Then I travel with, instead of a battery pack, I'm actually traveling with the V-mount battery, which works as a power bank. And I'll show you, I'll carry it in this safe bag for batteries. So from this battery, I have an output USB to which I connect a very long USB to USB-C cable that can power any tool, to be honest, but I use it mainly for my phone because when I hire a scooter abroad, I can use my phone navigator and I can just power it through the V-mount battery. But also in case I want to recharge maybe a drone battery, I can do it from this. I keep it again on the top pocket of my bag. Then sometimes I also carry an extra lens pouch, which I hook to the belt and my trousers. And that's again to switch quickly between the lenses. So I keep one lens in the pouch and one on the camera and I just switch them when I need to do so. Instead of going and opening the rucksack, you know, put the rucksack on the floor, open it up, change the lens, replace it, blah, 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 blah. It's right here, quick and easy. And for storage, I put everything inside this Samsung T7 Shield hard drive, which is a two terabyte hard drives. It's very quick, portable, and I just stick it into the bag. Sometimes I carry the laptop with me as well, which I place 
in a cover and then I close this compartment and I slide it right here. So if I want to go to a cafe as well and do some video editing or some work, that's how I carry everything. And there you go. That's what's in my travel camera bag 2023 slash 24. And guys, at the end of the day, this is heavy. It's probably 12 kilos. Take care of your back. It's important. I hope the video helped out. All the products in the description tabs. Stay tuned and hit subscribe. And of course, more videos are coming very soon.